Hi, uh, John here in Uruhu, Auckland, New Zealand. Today is Monday the 9th of January 2016 uh, and I'm uh, posting on Facebook events leading up to the Treaty of Waitangi New Zealand Day on the 6th of February 2017. I've posted some statements to the effect that John Key, ex Prime Minister of New Zealand, is uh, a criminal uh, involved with bank fraud and in the cabal, the Lucifer and Illuminati organisation that are abusing our Admiralty Court Martial Law flag that King William IV gave to the Whakameninga chiefs in the period of time of Captain James Reddy Clendon on his HMS Fortitude ship of Admiralty landing at Kororareka Russell, Bay of Islands, Northland, New Zealand, with documents that stated in his proclamation on the 20th of March 1834 that the native lands belongs to the King of England, at that time the reigning monarch, sovereign, King William IV. Previous to that, King William IV and the administration of land conveyancing in Cambridge, England, was Chief Tira Waikato Wharaherehere Manika, who had gone there with Hongihika, Chief of Ngāpui, he, Hongihika, was taught armed combat to come back to New Zealand to take out all the other tribes on behalf of the British establishment, navy and military. Whereas Chief Tira Waikato Whareherehere Manukau from Waikato, Cambridge, and his pa at Mangatauteri went to England specifically to learn land transactions, native titles, bank instruments of mortgage under an Admiralty King's Law at the time that they drafted the native titles in England, Cambridge. That's why it's gone from Cambridge in England to Cambridge in the Waikato district. King um, William the Fourth, agents of the Crown set up over there with Tira Waikato Wharaherehere Manukau titles in the Manukau Land Company, Scotland, Glasgow, part of the Westminster administration of the UK government of Britain. So today I must announce that the Whakamininga, the 1834 Whakamininga native surname chiefs are now proclaiming on the 6th of February 2017 inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court with myself the Sheriff King William the Fourth Surrogate King that the lands in Aotea New Zealand and Pacific Island belongs to the Native Chiefs and not the King of England or the Queen of England. However we are petitioning 
the King of Britain, the UK, incumbent King Ernest Augustus V, to take up the position of King of Britain, UK, inside the King's Bench Native Court in Plymouth as partner to us, the natives, Whakameaning our chiefs, and in a private contract between us, the chiefs, and King William IV, Admiralty Court Martial Law Jurisdiction of sovereign powers of our own and self-government run under dual British Westminster and Maui Crown Federal State Government Commonwealth Government of the world. Okay, so that's a statement I'm making today. I'll say it once more. The government that we're running on inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court is the Maui Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World. Brackets. Crown Corporation. Maui Crown. Brackets. And the British UK government and its nominated King Ernest Augustus V and his son Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, both of them and us his partners. Our legal partners are the British Navy, Sir Jones, Chief of Navy and Military. He is our legal partner in this private contract business of Admiralty with the 1834 Clendon title, British title, Whakameninga native surname Chiefs. Okay, I'll make that clear. Distinction between the Maui Crown and the Maori Crown, Queen Elizabeth. King on one side, Maui, Hapu, native surname Chiefs, and on the other side, the Maori, Iwi, Queen Elizabeth II, New South Wales, New Zealand Government contract, Treaty of Waitangi, 1840 Treaty of Waitangi. Agreement. Now, I make this announcement right now. I've heard today, and it's on the news, on TV1, that Bill English is not likely to attend the Treaty of Waitangi celebrations inside Titi Marae at Waitangi and also the Waitangi Marae on the treaty ground on the 6th of February 2017 at 5 a.m. in the morning, dawn service. We're going to be there in a court hearing on that day. I've arranged it now with the letters you'll see online as written authority to go inside that marae with our own Ngāti Pro carvings of my own chiefs inside their marae as our ownership. That's verified and authenticated by Chief King Itaura's signature on the documents that I put together online that are there as being the authority of the Queen Victoria Trust and King Edward bloodline DNA inheritance as first claim on their trust. Okay, so that's what I wanted to announce today that Bill English is not attending the Waitangi Day celebrations as being 
historic turnaround and blaming it on the treaty gagging order is what they put together the gagging order where Kingi has refused to let John Key onto Titi Marae that's onto Titi Marae see they have to get permission to go onto the other side into the Waitangi Marae the top Marae that the government always goes to and hides inside there with their corrupted fraud crown corporations business Maui's caught them out. Okay, Maui has caught them out. Checkmate. Red hand. Right? We have the titles. My bad, when we go there, when I go there with Kingy, it's his word against John Key's word and Bill English's word. What he says does as the oldest Tomata Komatua or native chief surname on that land that he wants back. It is my legal duty and authority appointed by him and the native surname chiefs to seize the land back into the native Whakamanina chiefs possession on that day and the whole country for that matter. If John Key or Bill English or Hetsy Reddy doesn't turn up inside that court hearing because whoever turns up in that marae, Waitangi marae, on the treaty grounds next to the British Admiralty ship, King of the Sea, Admiralty Law, Court Martial Law, will be charged in their absence will be charged and liable the Queen of England Queen Elizabeth II and all who have who I have accused on this letter as being fraudulent with King William the Force Admiralty Law for their own financial investment interests and not the financial investment interests of New Zealand citizens, Pacific Island citizens, Commonwealth countries of the world citizens, natives of this land's interests, financial investment interests and all the indigenous countries of the world financial investment interests, 192 countries in the world, or less whoever's left out of that lot. Okay, so that's this announcement on this video as a statement of claim, verbal affidavit, that I, John Hawani Kahaki Wano, swear to God Almighty and my wife, Earth Memorial, to our tukas in the Pacific Islands, and I swear to King Ernest Augustus V and swear to King William III and his St. Patrick's Order of Dublin, Ireland and his King William III of Orange estate lands in Plymouth and Devonport, England that we, the chiefs, of the native surname Whakamania shall raise the flag to the top of the mast ship of Admiralty British on the treaty grounds at Waitangi on the morning of the 6th of February at 5 a.m. in the morning till 6 o'clock in the morning raise the flag after the ceremony is over. We have from 5 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock to complete the celebrations of 183 years till the 10th of March 1834 Captain Clendon's arrival on the shores of Kororareka and on the 20th of March 1834 proclamation by Captain James Reddy Clendon that the natives land 
the longest thing I've been in the, in the room before. I mean, one hour. So at that time, Captain Clendon bought land from Pomare 1, 2, and 2. From 1830, his arrival at Kororareka and set up with James Busby, British resident, in Okiato village, the native court that we are getting our authority together on that day, the Treaty Waitangi Day, to force the laws of King William IV, 1830 to 1837, you'll see online, and to force again the flag's authenticity of its eight-point star, St. Patrick's Order, Dublin, and King William III of Orange, title, to all the commerce here and set up in Porirua here, the councils of this country and all the councils in the world where they collect the money for the parliament in those countries, those native countries, and here in New Zealand, New Zealand Parliament collecting the revenue on behalf of the King's Bench Court in the councils. Porirua is on my site there justifying our claim to St. Patrick's order, Knight's order, to collect revenue for the use of our lands, native lands, and for the King's Royal Revenue collection. By the Queen's Bench Court, we bill, debtor, charge, levy, the Crown Agents of the Queen, and all those we name in these documents as levy debtors. With the pound note, the 970 million trillion trillion pound note, the green one you see on my Facebook today, I've posted again, will be presented in that native court hearing, grand jury, with or without you, Bill English, Prime Minister of New Zealand, you are liable by John Key's absence to the court if he doesn't turn up. We're making rulings on you both and Governor General Patsy Reddy, Honourable, that you, in your legacy of Parliament sovereignty, without a Queen on these lands to represent you in the courts, noted by my court case win against the CIB, Criminal Investigation Bureau, Police Detective Natalie Flower Dean Brown, and the owners of 77 Cook Street, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree, and all in all, 41 people gets the bill of a trillion pound note on your head. The Moai Powerhouse Bank pound note. Now, this statement I make is that King William III created the Bank of England himself inside his orange estate land in Plymouth area and Devon Port Naval Base where everyone left to come here to New Zealand from that authority in um, Admiralty Law of the Sea. Okay, so we're forcing our business in 250 countries with this flag with the four stars in the corners, the four corners of the earth. Now, Atua e Wa, Aotea, New Zealand Limited, is a company registered here as one of a trillion shares. That company is the creditor with the Maui Crown King William Trust creditor, private company, and also the my Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company registered in London, UK. Company's house with one billion shares 
each of the 250 countries in the world shall share what we recover in levy debtor recovery of property, land, estates of the Crown Corporations under Queen Elizabeth and US Federal State Governments, United Nations, IMF, NATO, EU Parliament, Westminster Parliament, Buckingham Palace, City of London, these are private companies, Washington DC, private company, Vatican City, private company, Queen Elizabeth II, private company, the royal families, 300 royal families, all their families, the Rothschild Bank, family, dynasty, Bank of England, owned by the Rothschilds, Israel, owned by the Rothschilds, right, these are all the companies that get in that 970 million, trillion, trillion pound note on your heads. All your corporations, church and state parliaments, companies in the world, and all your crown agents working for you in all the councils, in the world, and especially here, Kurirua, is the model of St. Patrick's Order, Knights of Orange County Courthouse on King William III's estate land. That's where we're setting up the Maui Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World, dual government there with Britain, King William IV. King William III and King Ernest Augustus V reigning monarch today, 2017. On that day, he shall be the King of Britain, UK, inside the Westminster Parliament after his inauguration inside the William Yard, Naval Yard, in Devon, Port, Plymouth registered in the County Court of Plymouth, now would be called the King William IV, King William III Native Land Court. To here, the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court. Connection through St. Patrick's Order, eight point star, flag here of the king. The only king flag in the world of commerce that brought St. Patrick's order here onto our land as a model for all the rest of the world. Native indigenous land. We hold the title to that authority. Jurisdiction of admiralty, court martial law, financial martial law of the king of England, Britain, UK. Pacific Islands, New Zealand, and the Commonwealth countries of the world. Okay, you got that? So, I'm going to read you the letter I'm sending to Maori Rapana, the cultural manager of the Waitangi Marae Waitangi National Trust, private company. Okay? And the <coughs> committee there. In the letter, I'm hiring the marae again at 4 a.m. in the morning till 7 a.m. in the morning for the celebration of Waitangi Day public. Public celebration where the government traditionally goes there with the Maori iwi and the hapus left out. This is the hapus title land and its courthouse that has been used by the Crown Corporation of Queen Elizabeth II and her fraud corrupted businesses right through the world inside that courthouse with the British Admiralty ship opposite on the treaty grounds next to the Moai. That's our title, Memorial. John Key and Bill English, Government of New Zealand in exile to New South Wales, Australia, 
Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth Admiralty Vice Jurisdiction of None have their 1840 Treaty Waitangi Conquered Perth Memorial standing outside next to Titi Marae that the Crown put together for its Maori Iwi chiefs. Now, that word Maori belongs to the Crown Corporation and the New Zealand Government, New South Wales Government ownership. They get the belt. They get the belt. And all those following that line of government, they get the belt. Now, the Maori government, soon Nakora, this is a message for you. I spoke to you and made it clear to you that there's no way for the Maori government to talk while I'm talking with Chief King Itaura on his land in a commercial land ownership sense of legal title, legal title to that land. He is the commercial landowner. That's a landowner, not native landowner in this court. You want to talk about land titles, you go into Titi Marae with the New Zealand government and their memorial outside. That's the memorial that I tried to get rid of with King Itaurua and the Maori tribes want to keep it. You can keep it, but you also share the 970 million trillion trillion pound note, the debtor bill from the other marae, the real marae that's got carvings in it. The Titi marae has no carvings in it. It was made that way so that it took the mana out of the land and gave it to the Pākehā, white man. Okay? Now make myself clear. I'm trying to be precise here because there's a divide between a Moai, King William, Sovereign Authority, British title, flag, jurisdiction, and a Maori, Iwi, Tapu, Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth, 1840 treaty. Document. Memorial stone standing outside Titi Marae. That's your Marae, Sunakura, to do all your commercial business that you want to do, not in the other Marae. That's for the British. Now, Bill English will not be attending the Marae, the Waitangi Marae celebration, so there's no need for you to go in that Marae to confront him. He won't be there to confront, you see, because he's backed off from these documents I'm putting online that are authentic, with seals on it, of Maui, Crown, and King William's seal, that John Key ran off from, and resigned as Prime Minister of New Zealand, and now Bill English is caught up with the same joinder liability as third party, Sir Nakora, third party to the first party, King William IV, and the second party, the 1834 Whakamenia native surname chiefs. I'm checking the names. There's only four chiefs going to Westminster, going to Plymouth, to put the flag up there and put the flag up on the treaty ground that King Itaurua wants back in his titled ownership. That's one. There's many other ones that want to do the same, but they choose to stay with Maori. They choose to stay with Maori. You can stay with Maori all you like, but not in the Maori King's Court. Okay? You got that? So we have four chiefs. Chief King Itaurua. Chief Mani Para Para Mohini, Justice of the Peace, Chief Bunny 
white tie. Native court grand jury head. And Tupi Jim Wikotu. Native court jury. Land assessor. Those two land assessors and Kingi have the last say on these lands under that British title. I make this statement quite clear that the rest of the fuckamining or what they want to call themselves under the 1835-28 New South Wales gazetted flag authority is in Titi Marae, not the other Marae. Waitangi Marae is not the same contract. Two different contracts. Queen's contract in the Waitangi, in the Titi Marae, Queen's Bench Court, upper house in there for your Maori government and everything Maori, land court Maori, tribunal Maori, people Maori, everything with the Crown Corporation and Bill English. Unfortunately, you are third party to these four chiefs and myself, the surrogate King William IV. Authority. As appointed the position of sheriff on behalf of the King of England, King William IV, and the reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, King Minister Augustus V. Okay, so that's my oath of office to them and to our Tupuna chiefs who set this up for us with this flag, and it's only just begun trading in the high seas around the world. We have already got a government set up on the Facebook site and on our website moaipowerhouse.com M-O-A-I-P-O-W-E-R-H-O-U-S-E dot C-O-M moaipowerhouse.com You'll see there uh, in script you'll see the Maui Commonwealth Government of the world. Okay, it's all there. We're taking that, Kingi, and the chiefs, the four chiefs, we're taking that, and you, and Jamie, Patrick, Patrick, surname, on this flag, the four stars, is her surname. We're taking her to Plymouth and Devon Port, to put this flag up there, then go from there with the authority of King Ernest Augustus V into Westminster to put the flag up there. And he goes in as the King of Britain, UK, not the King of England, the King of Britain, UK, because that's the commercial entity. And EU Parliament is the other. That's the modern kings and queens. Queens are out. No more queens on England. England doesn't feature on its own. It can't run itself. It has to be the UK, four states, up to Ireland and Scotland to come back to England and Wales. Right? Under that King Ernest Augustus. Okay? You got that? Right. I'm going to read you the letter, the official Signed letter by Chief Kingi Taurua and myself, his ship, legal, customary legal advocate, assigning creditor, bank creditor, by my powerhouse bank and the pound note. Bill English, your bill for New Zealand land itself is one billion trillion pound note, the blue one. Okay? And you have already got, with John Key, the 970 million trillion trillion pound note 
for Queen Elizabeth II inside that Waitangi Marae and your Governor General who sells land here, the Moai Hapu Native Chiefs surname land. You can't say you sell Maori land because you're selling it to yourself, the Maori, yourself and your copyright patents on that name, Maori and Iwi. You see, you can't trick Maui because Maui has his own written documents, style of writing and style of sovereignty in these documents that you see online. There's many too many for anyone to refute. What it says goes. My word against your word. That's how this court works. If you're not in court, Bill English, or Patsy Reddy, honourables of your Crown corporations, and your corporations don't turn up inside that courthouse, then you're liable. You get the bill. I'm going straight into the ANZ Bank and cashing the bill against each of your heads, a trillion pounds each, on top of it. On top of the billion trillion pound note on the land here in New Zealand only, and the 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your heads. And the British Navy Chief Sir Philip Jones is responsible to recover all the debt in the British Crown Court system, Admiralty, Court Martial Law of King William IV and our acts, not their acts in Westminster. We're enforcing our acts inside that marae and inside the courthouse on King William III of Orange's estate land in Plymouth. County Courthouse. That's where we're setting up our King Ernest Augustus, the fifth King of Britain, sovereignty title in there for these documents and for our land titles right around the world in the Commonwealth from that day, the 6th of February 2017 onwards. Okay? So I'm making this announcement. Before anything happens, John Key and Bill English, you'll be locked up in prison from the sheriff. The sheriffs who wear this hat and this shirt can go and arrest anyone breaking these laws that we forced on the 15th of April 2016 last year inside that marae. Little did you know that that's what we went inside that marae for, is to open it up for business, commercial trading business, under that flag that's on the mast, and the mast ship is our title, memorial to King William IV and King William III in Britain, London, UK. Okay, you can't deny what I'm saying. I say what I say, it's up to you to deny it and turn up in that court to defend yourself. Bill English and John Key, you must turn up in that court on this video because it's admissible in any high court of admiralty in the world of commerce and commonwealth countries using Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria's admiralty titles shall be shut down. Obama and the US federal state government will lose its authority to use any more of King William III, King William IV and King George III, their father's admiralty court martial laws on the 6th of February 2017. They are on. You have been warned, you have been notified that it's already from the 15th of April 2017 these laws were passed and forced. They are enforced, people watching these videos, <coughs> they are better than affidavits or statements because it's my word in the flesh and blood against your word in the flesh and blood. You must make a video to counter this video in front of the whole world witnessing what I'm saying on behalf of Chief
Kingi Tauroa, in other words, as his power of attorney in his absence or um, lack of knowledge in law of the sea, commercial contract law and admiralty law, financial martial law, court martial law and law of transfer of native land titles in any country in the world using seals of the King or Queen of England or Britain, UK, Westminster Parliament Authority. Okay, you got that? Because we have our laws extant forevermore inside Westminster Parliament under the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag and it's automatically defaults back into the 1834 Clendon title where the British came straight here and proclaimed it directly belongs to Britain without going through Australia. Queen Victoria titles we deem as fraudulent and criminal, proven criminal by not turning up in court is an admission of guilt in front of the whole world watching. And we have 80 Facebook sites. You can see these documents appear on any of those and 930 YouTube and Daily Motion videos. Twitter, we have about 3,000 businesses following to as witness because everything I put on Facebook goes straight on to Twitter. So it's got public international notification of intent. We have intended to bill you with these pound notes that we have the right to use King Tafio of Waikato under Tira Waikato Whareherehere Manikau's land title transfer inside the Manikau Land Company in Glasgow, Scotland, where that real estate company put those titles together, then bought them here, then said the land belonged to them when they arrived. It was already sold over there, not here. And on top of that, when Captain James Reddy Clendon arrived here in 1830, he bought land from Pomare to Chief of Napuri. And he was, he went back to England and came back in 1834 and bought more land at O Kiato village in Kororareka. <coughs> and used his legal status as captain to authenticate his documents on W. Tucker official office paper watermark purchase agreement of the land he bought. He bought land. Once he bought land as a British, it became a land transaction of someone selling land and someone buying land for the king, the crown land. That's what I'm saying. It differs from the Treaty of Waitangi, New South Wales titles. And Hohepa, Epiha, and your Tomak has to stick with your New South Wales titles and don't tamper or interfere or talk about the British titles on the same flag at Kororareka. That's for Jim Tuki Wikotu and those people I know have gone up that hill religiously every year to proclaim the title back to Motiti, Fakatane, Hauraki and throughout Napuri. Only those people who believe in what I'm saying as Maui joins Maui. Anybody in the world can join Maui because that king's title goes through all the Commonwealth countries of the world and we spread it out amongst 250 countries that gets the same benefits on their population and landmass area. 
as with New Zealand, its value out of all of that 970 million trillion trillion pound note is 1 billion trillion pound note worth, divided amongst four chiefs and a few other followers will know on Waitangi Day, the 6th of February 2017, will know which side of the fence they're on. We have a register running on that day inside the Waitangi Marae. On Waitangi Day, we can have that Marae all day if Bill English doesn't come. But because it's a public day, we won't make a spectacle of ourselves because we usually, traditionally, go there at 5 o'clock in the morning to raise the flag and celebrate Waitangi Day. But we're celebrating. That was 75 years. They had their celebrations, people. They've had their celebrations. John Key didn't invite the British Navy ship to come here. No Navy ship. Only the other Navy ships from all the road countries that came here with their ships get the bill. You all get the bill. All those countries that are following that Admiralty, Vice Admiralty Authority. You get the bill from the real Admiral, the real Admiral in Britain, and us, its legal partner in this transaction, title on Court of Our Letter. Okay? That's real. That goes right through this country from that one title and Cook Street, Crown Land in Auckland, Grant, Crown Grant title, Rowland and co-judges. That's in my family. Kaipa. Manukau family and Wānoa family. Desmond, native land court. And Kaipara, native land court. In Helensville. Mahi Demati Manukau, the fourth. And Rogan married his family as the title makers. You get what I'm saying? Can you hear what I'm saying? And all those out-of-touch Ngāti Pro, I'm afraid you won't learn how law works in Admiralty and are ignorant. Your ignorance comes with a bill attached to it. Unfortunately, I was rejected off my own native surname land at Port Awanui, east of Ruatoru, on the Herenga A12 block I was declined my application to go back on one of 28 land titles that I had my name on it under the Uetaha Hapu land title ownership in this commercial contract. The Portiki River Kiwaipu area boundary running from Cape Runaway through the back of Whakangiangi, Rokomara Range, to Maraihara. Poroporo Valley to Tikitiki, down the Waipu River to Rangitukia, across to Haha Station, Tipito, through to East Cape, including 500 miles out in the sea. On that area of boundary, straight out, 500 miles, and back around to East Cape, Fanakuna Island included, and back around to Tiaroro, Horoira, Tiaroro, Punaruku, Hicks Bay, Matakawa, Midway, Potaka, and back to East Cape, uh, Cape Runaway. Okay? All that boundary area is the commercial landowners in Waitangi, Marae, King's Bench, Native Court, on the 6th of February 2017. Right there. Now, Kingi and Bunny and Jim Wikutu and Manahi, Para Para Mohini, have the legal right as native commercial land owners to see the land. In Rotten Point Motel, that's another one. All the lands that I have tried to recover and Cook Street is going to get seized. I warned you, you'll lose it if you don't come up with a title to refute what I have a 
ke buatangi Indad Bay a took to Whiringaki, Moria Marae, and now taking it back to um, the Marae in Pangaru. to address this issue again, the divide of Maui and Maori land title. I'll get a shower of hands which way is going where. And take notice, Danny Watson, you're in the Australian New South Wales title with Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth II fraudsters. Okay? And all you lot that did that to Kingi, you get the bill. Because it's his day on Waitangi Day on his own commercial native land. Tatawaru. That's the money side and all the inheritance that he has. The direct claim to Queen Victoria Trust. And not you lot. Okay, not you lot. This is the British title I'm talking about. It comes under King William's his nephew, his niece, Queen Victoria, it comes back to his title that created her title. Okay, nobody else can claim. No one else can claim that title when there's an incumbent King of Britain there to take up the positions that I'm saying they're nominated to. Okay, here's the letter. I, I'm, I did this video earlier, but I got called away to go to physio and acupuncture in uh, Manukau City. Um, absolute physio and magic for that. Okay, so I'm doing it again. I'm just repeating it again. And um, here it goes. Okay, Waitangi Marae Historic 183-year event. Nā Atua Ewa Aote Limited, 07B Pa 16 Park Avenue, Oruhu, Auckland, New Zealand. To the Whakaminia, 1834 Administrators, Chief Kingi Taurua, Organiser, John Wano, that's me. Addressed to the Waitangi Marae National Trust, Cultural Manager Mori Rapana and their committee. Monday 9th of January 2017, dear Mori Rapana, I wrote to him before and he gave us the Marae, the 15th of April 2016 for the very same reason. Um, applying for it again. I'm writing to you on behalf of Kingi Taurua, the oldest chief of the Waitangi and Titi land establishment blocks of the 1834 Whakaputanga British flag and flag of Aotea New Zealand Whakaputanga Native Council of Chiefs Whakamini. A native land court was officially established as the legitimate Maui Crown Native Court Grand Jury inside Watani Marae House on Friday 15th of April 2016 to continue on the 4th and 5th of February 2017 in the Titi Marae with myself John Kahaki Wānoa as Surrogate King William IV Native Land Commissioner, Sheriff legally using Marae King William IV Bank and Pound Note Levy Credit Instruments for the 6th of February 2017. Includes levy debtor instruments on the 6th of February 2017. With JP Manahi Parapara Mohini as Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court Maui Crown Native Court Judge Land Assessor and Bunny Waitai as Maui Crown Head of the Maui Crown Native Grand Jury Court both Taumata Kaumatua from Kaitaia. With Tupi Jim Wikotu, elder of Matatua Waka, as a Maui Crown Native Court Grand Jury flag bearer, attending the celebrations part of this 183 historic event, event as the Indigenous Native Chiefs. <clears throat> the historic date of landing was the 10th of March 1834, and the proclamation and Native Court Government British establishment set up on the 20th of March 1834, Captain Clendon 
magistrate, lawyer, land conveying chief, officer that did the land transfer from native chief to King William the Fourth reigning monarch, King of England, King of Britain, UK, Northern Ireland, 